today, we're doing a tune on the Dodge Super D. And to test it out, we're going up against some 700 performance points muscle cars. And if you've never tried giving the AI that much power without fixing the suspension, well, maybe it's best I just show you. So this is it, our Super B. Let's make it look a little bit more the part, and then see what we're up against. First up, we have us and the Super B, followed up closely by the Shelby, easily the worst performing car of the day. Next up, we have a Camaro and a Corvette, helping to fill out that roster. But what we really need to be worried about is the engine swap and fully tuned Dodge Challenger. After that, we have another Corvette and a yet to be engine swapped Superbird. But hey, I'm working on that one. And rounding out the roster, we have an engine swapped Firebird, followed up by an engine swapped Mustang Mark 1. Now it's time to head over to Deep Forest Raceway, the location where I work out all the tunes for my cars. And while I did manage to get this car running quite consistently, it is lapping about a second and a half slower than the Dodge Challenger, so we've got our work cut out for us today. And just a quick mention, if you're enjoying the content, feel free to like, comment or subscribe. It would really help, thanks guys. And here's the tune. If this is all you're here for, then I wish you good luck with it. If you want to see how it handles, however, stick around. We're going to take it for a race. Now, we're over at Willow Springs, on the starting line, and ready for our showdown against today's assembled muscle cars. So without any further hold-ups, let's get ourselves buckled in and get this three-lap showdown underway. Welcome aboard. We struggle for traction, coming off the line. Luckily, our opponents are muscle cars, and they're having the same issues as us. And as we come around the first corner, we see it's already gone pear-shaped for a couple of them, as they are fully off the track already. Oh man, what an entrance. Okay, is it wrong that I want him to win now? Because after a rejoin like that, he really deserves it. Sadly, by the time he regains his composure, the damage has already been done. And, like other cars before us, we overtake him, relegating him to the back set of cars. We come around the corner, just in time to see the Superbird carouseling its way off into the dirt. That's another position for us as we enter the high speed section of the track. Next up is the Shelby, a car who was notoriously excellent probe during my testing. I'm honestly surprised he's held on this long. But in an amateur move, he takes the inside line, pitting the dirt and for that, he deserves to be taken out of this race. The Pontiac has made a bit of a comeback, but he's no threat to us, and we are focused on catching up to the next group of cars, way off in the distance. As we catch up to the next group of cars, it is immediately clear that pressure is getting to the Corvette, because on the corner, he loses traction, giving us the position. We get a good run on the Mustang, and we notice the Corvette up ahead has lost speed. If we can hold the Mustang on the left hand side of the track, then we can get both of them in one go. We're coming around to the final section of the second lap, and we can't even see the Challenger. Worried that he's so far ahead, we push incredibly hard, and that earns us the trip to the dirt. At least, we're better off than that Corvette back there. But we've lost enough speed for the Mark 1 to make its move. The celebrations for the Mark 1 don't last too long, however, because one corner later, we're taking that position back. 
because it's ours. Now, we're after the challenger, and we're going to have to run a pretty good lap if we want to stand any chance of catching up to it. All I know is that it's going to be close. And there he is, way off in the distance. We managed to catch him by the final set of long corners, and with one corner to go, we're going on the inside to take the lead. Before I can tell what's happened, my tyres hit dirt, and then the challenger. Now the track is looking more and more like dirt, and I've got a problem. In my final moments, I can't help but think that somehow, I deserve this. But in an amateur move, he takes the inside line, hitting the dirt, and for that, he deserves to be taken out of this race.